Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phonebench and today we are benchmarking the Micromax Canvas Alanza 2 A121 available for about Rs. 9500 in the market running Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. So at the top you can see it's a Micromax A121 Android 4.3 Jelly Bean with a 5 inch HD display that's 720 by 1280 pixels. Now let's come to system. You have an ARM V7 Cortex A7 base. MSM8212 Snapdragon 200 quad core processor with Adreno 302 GPU. It says 305 as the board is compatible with that. You have 911 MB of RAM out of 1 GB that's available to the system. 1.2 GB of internal storage. You have a 8 megapixel primary camera with autofocus as well as LED flash. And you also have a front facing 2 megapixel autofocus camera which has its own secondary flash just right there. Very strange offering, we will definitely check that out. Now coming to battery, you have a 2000 mAh lithium ion battery powering the device. And coming to sensors, you have an accelerometer, a proximity sensor as well as a light sensor, all three of which are working perfectly fine. Now let's start with the benchmarks, we are going to run Antudu first. We have fast forwarded all the benchmarks to get to the results quickly. The scores have loaded up, let's have a look. So we got a score of 15721 which is actually a good score. It's a bit lower than the Canvas 2 colors and the Q1010i as well. Nevertheless, it's a good score in this segment. Now we are going to run the Quadrant benchmark. We are running the full benchmark here as well. Let's submit the score to get a comparison chart going. So we got a Quadrant score of 8054 which is among the highest scores in this segment and closer to the Moto G than the Q1010i and Canvas 2 colors. Now we are going to run Nina Mark 2. It's a graphics benchmark, will give us an FPS score. So we got 39.5 FPS, which is actually quite low in this segment, considering the Canvas 2 colors got a score of 53.5. We'll definitely check how it performs in gaming. Next up, we are running Velamo HTML5 chapter. It will run Sun Spider as well as V8 benchmark suit. It's been fast forwarded as well. So we got a Velamo score of 1489, which is again a very good score. Lower than some of the other phones in this segment, but definitely competitive. And you can see it's below the Samsung Galaxy Grand, above the LG Nexus 4. Good competition there. Now we are going to run the Metal chapter of Velavo. It will specifically test the processing capabilities. And we got a score of 459, which is again a good score. Lower than the Canvas 2 colors, but definitely competitive. Now we are running Linpack single thread test. We got a score of 83.6. Now let's run the multi-thread test. Here we got a score of 203.45. Good scores here for the Snapdragon 200 quad-core chipset. Now we are testing multi-touch capabilities. I have six fingers, only five are detected. So it's a five-point multi-touch display. Even in terms of day-to-day -day use, the phone performs great. There are no issues with touch response. As you can see, there is no lag in the interface being stock. It's absolutely fluid. And moreover, the build of the device is truly solid. It's one of the most solid handsets that I've seen from Micromax. It feels great to hold in the hand as well. Although it scored a bit low in benchmarks, in general use, there are no performance hiccups anywhere. Well folks, that was the benchmarking review of the Micromax Canvas Elanza 2 A121. Here you can watch its unboxing as well as the benchmarks of the Canvas 2 colors and its full review. If you have any questions, just ask us in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video, it really helps. Thanks for watching and have a great day.